Today is a big day for Porter. Where are we going, Porter? To school. Felix school. To Felix's school? Yeah. No. Uh -huh. Felix doesn't go to school. Whose school are we going to? Porter. <gasps> are we going to preschool? Porter. What are we going to do at your school? Mm, I Porter. don't know. You don't know? No, I don't. Are we going to meet your teachers? Yeah. <gasps> and see your classroom? Yeah. Are you so excited? Maybe? Are you excited? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you eating? Candy. Candy? Who gave you candy? Daddy. <gasps> Daddy did? Uh-huh. Oh. That's nice of him. Okay, we gotta get our shoes on and get ready to go. We're gonna go meet our teachers. So yes, we are about to leave and go um, to Porter's preschool. It used to be Grayson's old preschool, but he's in kindergarten now. And Porter is gonna be in the same class, the same three-year-old class that Grayson was, um, which is the turtle class. And I know both of the teachers, the one teacher Gray had, when he was in the three-year-old class and then the other teacher is actually a mom in my mom's group so i've known her for a few years so very comfortable with the teachers i know the school i know the classroom this is really just like for porter to get comfortable with it i'm a little nervous for him just because he's a little more attached to me than grayson so hopefully he'll be okay he said he didn't want to go and then i told him that i was going to go with him today and then he said he wanted to go so hopefully he does okay on Tuesday when I, I just go and drop him off. You ready to go? Yeah, ready to go. So we're going to go check out the classroom. I'm sure they're going to have like a scavenger hunt for us like they always do. And just kind of get Porter familiar with his classroom. So here we go. Hey guys, so we are back. Um, I didn't film anything at the school because there were other kids there. But I did take this one picture of Porter playing. So I'll input that here. We had a good time, um, at least up until the end. Uh, we went in and found Porter's classroom. I knew exactly where it was because Grayson had been in it two years ago. Met the teachers, knew both of them, so it was very easy to talk to them. And we just kind of explored the classroom. So we found all the different parts of the classroom. They actually had a little scavenger hunt for us to do, which they do every year. So I'll show that to you guys if you're interested. <laughs> so here it is. It was like, can you find the writing center? Sink, blocks. You get the gist, the bathrooms, like just trying to find the different parts of the classroom. Also, there was the playground, which we went outside and found that. So we found all the different things and Porter immediately went to go play with the toys. They have a little fake kitchen that he played and they have like fake food and he loved playing with that. And then um, found the books, which he was like, meh. <laughs> found the, they have a little rug that the kids sit on, love that. And then his favorite thing that he found was they had a bunch of different tractor toys and he was pumped. They have a whole little like farm bin with farm toys in it and so he was all over that there were like tractors you could put little people in them he was playing with that for forever fit right in like loved it so i felt really good about that like he wasn't scared um like i said he didn't want to go by himself he kept saying are you gonna come with me and i said yes i'll come with you this time but then next time you have to go by yourself okay and he was like okay i did express to the teachers like i know that porter is probably one of the youngest if not the youngest kid in this class he's not even three yet his birthday is the 14th and they did tell me that there's actually quite a few kids with later birthdays this year um one of the kids in his class her birthday was today and i think they said like one or two other kids have later birthdays so I did tell them, like, I understand he's going to be the youngest. He probably won't be, like, on par with some of the older kids. But this is really just for him to get the social skills and just start building those academic skills. And they were like, it's totally fine. Like, we'll work with each kid where they're at, which I figured. Showed him where the potty was. Was great with that. He actually saw the potty and then decided he wanted to go potty. So we already used the potty and he's comfortable with that. So that was great. It's cute. It's a little tiny mini potty. So it was great. Perfect for his height. He did fine with that. They gave me like a bunch of forms, like a bunch of like get to know your child. So I've been filling those out. I need to print off some pictures. They've been saying like what the year, like each month, what they're going to learn about. Each month they focus on a color, a shape, 
and numbers so that's good so now i'll know like what he's gonna learn each month and of course they'll like keep in communication with me as well preschool is a lot better than elementary school because preschool they actually send you pictures all the time of your kid elementary school i don't get any pictures which is so sad so he seemed really like that um after we did all that we went out to the outdoor playground which porter loved they have like a whole playground set with a slide they have swings they had a lawnmower toy, which Porter was obsessed over. He pushed it all around. They gave the kids popsicles. So he got a little flavor ice popsicle he ate. They had like a little mini cozy coop, just like we do at our house. It's a red one. He just rides around. He loved that. The problem was when it was time to go, he did not want to leave, which I guess is good because he was having so much fun. He didn't want to go, but he literally had a meltdown like i was like okay porter it's time to go we need to go and he's like no i want to go back to my classroom and i said no it's time to go the meeting time is over we'll come back on tuesday and he did not like that answer and he screamed no and then he just cried and i basically had to pick him up and carry him out of the school and then he cried the whole drive home which was five minutes and i had to put him in timeout. so that was not the best. He's just not good at transitions. I think it's part of his age. I think it's normal for kids to not like transitions. I'm sure you guys can hear Avery in the background. She's discovering her voice. I don't think she's crying. I think she's just talking. Let's see. Hey, what are you all doing? Hi. Hi, sweet girl. See, I'm not upset. I'm just talking. This is Avery's favorite toy. It's the kick play piano toy, huh? And this is a little mirror. She likes to look at herself in it. What do you think? Yeah. See, I'm five months old. Speaking of Avery, yesterday she turned five months old, so we did a little photo shoot. So I'll include some pictures here of that. She's getting so big, I can't believe she's one month away from being six months old. That's just crazy. But anyway, all in all, it was good. Um, I feel better about taking Porter to preschool. You never know what mood you're gonna get with Porter. So we'll see how he does on Tuesday. I'm hoping he won't have an issue separating from me. With Grayson, I never had to worry about that because Grayson's always just been like, bye, I'm out of here. But Porter, he's a lot more like timid and just wants to be with me. So we'll see how he does, but I'm glad we went and like got him familiar with his classroom. But I gotta go get my shoes on and pick up Avery because Grayson's gonna be here in like five minutes off the bus and I'll see how his day went. And then my sister's coming over. We gotta do some work for um, our company. We have like a a retreat coming up that we have to present at and then Grayson has soccer practice tonight so I'll just vlog here and there different activities we do today It's actually the next day. I filmed that one clip and then we did the rest of the day and it was so busy and so chaotic that I didn't record anything else. Actually, yesterday was actually a really hard day for me. Both the kids have been really hard lately. I think Grayson's still like adjusting to the schedule of school and so it's leaving him a little sassy in the afternoons. And then Porter's just sassy himself, getting from a terrible twos to three major like straddling that right now and it was just a really hard day yesterday like Grayson repeatedly wasn't listening to me he was causing trouble um we took him to soccer practice and he just had his shirt up over his head the entire time his coaches kept telling him to stop he didn't listen I pulled him over and I told him hey if you keep doing this behavior you're gonna get a consequence and I'm not gonna read you books before bed you're just gonna go straight to bed he said okay and then went and just went ahead and um continued doing it so he just went straight to bed and then porter i swear i put him in timeout like 10 times yesterday because he's saucy and 
yeah, anyway, it was just a really hard day, so I didn't feel like pulling up the camera, but today's a new day. We don't really have much going on, but I started vlogging yesterday, so I should continue. It is morning time. Um, Anthony's showering. He's about to go play golf. He took off a day of work. It's Labor Day weekend. This is the Friday of Labor Day weekend. He took off today of work so he could go play golf. Whatever. And then um, I think we're going to mow tonight. Um, Porter is measuring things. What are you measuring, Porter? I'm missing this. Oh, you got some big plans? Yeah, that's okay. All right. And Avery's napping and Grayson's at school. I have been working on Porter's preschool homework, I guess you could call it. I remember this from when Grayson was in the three-year-old class. They have you like fill out like about me and then they want you to put like a bunch of pictures on a paper so that Porter has it for like if he ever gets sad at preschool he can like look at these pictures and feel better I guess I don't think Gray ever had to like use the pictures to cheer him up but maybe Porter will um so I'll show you what I've been working on because it's pretty cute so the first one is this about me and I put a little picture of Porter here he's so cute and then I just so asked like cute. random questions about Porter um, when his birthday is, um, siblings, pets. I, the best was I asked him, what's your favorite book? And he said, no, David, which is hilarious. He loves that book. It's about a little kid that does a lot of bad things and keeps getting in trouble, which is very like Porter. When I asked him what his favorite color was, he said black, which kind of surprised me because I feel like most kids don't pick black. And then favorite food, mac and cheese. That's very much Porter. He loves mac and cheese. I think we're going to have mac and cheese today, huh? What do you think about that? So anyway, and then this is the little collage that I made. If I can get it here. Uh, just different people that Porter can look at to make him happy. So I did a picture of our family, although it's kind of outdated because this is like Avery's newborn pictures, but we're gonna do fall pictures. So eventually I'll have an updated picture. I did one of Felix. How is this? And then one of me and my sisters, that, that was when we were in um, in Florida visiting my grandma. I was pregnant with Avery here. Yeah, you're that tall? Wow, that is very tall. I'm that tall. Okay. And then I included one of my parents. This is on the carousel at um, the cruise ship. And with little Porter. It actually cut gray off, but that's okay. It doesn't matter because it's all about Porter. So I'm just going to include these in his backpack. They also gave him this cute little name tag that he'll wear. He was very excited because he saw Grayson wearing a name tag and he wanted to wear one for himself. So he got his own name tag. And then this is just a sheet about if he's allergic to anything. I guess this is like the different things they're gonna eat throughout the year and if he's allergic to any of them, which he is not. So far, none of my kids are allergic to anything. Um, Porter might get uh, uh, seasonal allergies, but it's hard to tell. He just gets sick a lot at random times when Grayson isn't, so I wonder if it's allergies. But other than that, like they really don't have allergies so it's easy to fill out those information sheets so that's all good to go um only thing i need to do is i have his backpack i did i write his name on it no i need to write his name on it just realized i didn't do that and i have his water bottle here he picked a paw patrol water bottle and it came with labels so i just need to put the labels on there so that he doesn't lose it so those are the two things I need to do but I have time because his first day isn't until Tuesday Mama, you are tall. I am tall Mama, so that's what I've been working water. on this morning this I'm waiting on gray to get home uh, we really don't have plans for Labor Day weekend I, I was saying this the other day Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day weekend we never have plans so it's like the two holidays we never have anything going on the only thing we're doing is babysitting my parents' dog, Berkeley. We're going to be watching her this weekend. But other than that, I think we're just going to do, like, yard work and things around the house. What do you want to play with? No, I want to go to play. Okay, let's go sit on the stairs so I can put your socks and shoes on. So I'm talking about the sassiness. Good luck to his preschool teachers. Mom, can I... Can I picture you? Wait, this is only one sock. Where's your other sock? We picked his mommy land socks, which is hilarious. 
Okay, go find your other sock. These kids, they're testing my patience. Grayson lately has just been like with the not listening. I don't know. I think he's just going through a phase right now. Hopefully he grows out of it. <laughs> Guess who just got a bed? <gasps> who just got a bed? <gasps> Was it you? Yeah, you did. Oh, sorry, I cut your head off. Was it you? <gasps> Was it you? <laughs> now that we feed Avery cereal, I find that I have to give her baths more often because she just gets so stinky. You do get so stinky, Avery Brin. It gets like, and she's got more rolls too, so it gets under her chin and under her belly. <laughs> you got some rolls. Yeah. So I just gave Avery a bath, like I said. I have to try to find Anthony and Porter. Oh, I see them. Let me see if I can get them on camera. They're mowing, and Porter is having like the best day ever because he loves helping Anthony mow. Look at them. <laughs> Anthony's being so patient with Porter and letting him like hold the like actual lawnmower. Porter has a play one, but he just wants the real thing. It's so stinking cute. No, Grayson was doing sidewalk chalk and now he's in here with me. Hi! Felix is doing his mojo. Berkeley's here. Say hi, Berkeley. She's here. She is with us for the weekend. Gray, can you pick up the magnet tiles, please? Who made it back? And yeah, Anthony was gone for golfing for forever. And I was with the kids all day. And now that Anthony's back, I was I, he came back and I was like, here, take the baby. I went and pumped a little bit. And then I was like, okay, now you're home, go mow. So he and Porter have been mowing. And I've been taking care of Avery. It's past seven, so she's probably ready for bed, but she's giving me big smiles. You're giving me big smiles. Yeah. For some reason, every time after Avery gets out of the bath, she is just the happiest baby. What? She loves bath time and she loves being naked. Don't you? Yeah. I want to get her dress. Nikki girl. Nikki girl. Well, we're going to get her dressed for bed. Huh. I'm thinking I'm going to take this um, pack and play down, actually, because we don't really use it anymore. We did use it as a diaper changing station, but honestly, I mostly just change her diapers upstairs or on this ottoman right here. So I don't even really need this anymore. And honestly, now it just acts as like a holder for all of her stuff. So I'm thinking I'm going to get away rid of it by the time we have Porter's birthday party. But it's sad because she loves laying in it. You love to peck and play. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Gray, that's, you're too big for that. That's for Avery. <laughs> that's you're silly. <laughs> Gray was doing sidewalk talk, but then he was sad that I came inside. So now he came in to keep me company. And Avery, oh, bless you. We're just waiting for her to get tired of going to bed. Are you ready to go to bed? Yeah, she says I'm tired. Okay. 